Welcome to the Temperate Forest. The Temperate Forest is mostly located in the Pacific Northwestern United States, such as Oregon and Washington, and Canada. Temperate forests can be found anywhere from mountains to the coast. When you go skiing, you are in a temperate forest. When you go for a hike in the park, you are in the temperate forest as well. When you are walking in the woods by the beach, you are also in a temperate forest. This amazing ecosystem could be part of your everyday life. You should protect it. Let's go back in time. During this time, around 1990, the temperate forest had rich soil and beautiful weather that wasn't too hot or too cold. The animals and native plants were plentiful. Some common animals were, were bald eagles, cougars, deer, foxes, martens, and weasels, among other species. There was precipitation throughout the year, and as a result, the surrounding area stays relatively damp. Imagine a cougar creeping through the undergrowth. She is hunting to feed her cubs. The deer she is stalking is grazing peacefully, unaware that she is in danger. The cougar pounces, and today she is lucky. The sun is shining, and the forest is having a good year. No one is going hungry, and the food chain is in balance. There is snow on the mountains and plenty of water in the rivers year-round. Now, 2014 climate change is affecting temperate forests in many ways, majorly. Currently, more and more animals here in the temperate forest are becoming endangered. The same cougar that could have caught a deer freely at any time 20 years ago is being driven up the mountain and having to adapt to less and less food and water. The deer, its main prey, can live in a much warmer climate, but will be affected by other animals that can't. For instance, if cougars don't eat the deer, there will be more deer. If there are more deer, then there will be less of deer's main food, and the other animals that depend on it will be starving. Animals are dying out and going endangered. Causes of endangered animals are mostly climate change. What about flora, plants and vegetation? If one plant dies out, you will think it'd be easy and it will just be replaced with a new one. That won't happen. It's much more complicated than that because the plants sometimes depend on each other to survive. If you don't believe us, look outside and see for yourself. Our prediction for 2050 is the temperate forest will be almost completely different. Picture a long, hardly vegetated plateau where deer and common animals in the temperate forest will be dying out, as well as the trees. The fox that would hang out in the forest near your summer house would be skinny and starving, striving for any kind of food, including your compost. Even the nearby lake has shriveled up to the size of a backyard swimming pool. Temperate forests are in a lot of droughts. The animals and the plants won't have enough water to grow, thus decreasing the amount of temperate forests. But enough with the morbid stuff. If we all work together, we can stop the overuse of fossil fuels, like oil and coal, and keep our earth clean. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the troubles caused by climate change in the temperate forests. Thank you. Woo! <laughs>